Today I'm sharing my favorite all-time frosting recipe. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. It is a game changer for you. Let's make it. Honey, we're getting ready to roll sound. Okay. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, let's make this. You are gonna see how fast this game-changing frosting recipe comes together. First thing you're gonna do, which is the most important thing, this is the thing that flavors the frosting, is you're gonna crush up a very heaping half cup of cinnamon candy. Yes, I do have jars of cinnamon candy just <laughs> laying around. I'm gonna put those in the food processor. So there's a half cup. I'm gonna go a little bit more. These are heart shapes too, David. Look at these. I know, I love those. So this would be like a six ounce box if you were buying it over the counter. And we're just pulverize this into a fine sugar and you're like why could you just use like a colored sugar well this has that wonderful cinnamon flavor already in it and the reason why we want to get it small is we're going to pipe this we don't want big chunks that are going through a piping tip it smells so good already it smells delicious <laughs> so david let's see so it's like it's not too fine of a powder oh, I just want to that. all right put that aside and let's make the frosting so we've already made the game-changing ingredients of this buttercream frosting, and now we just make the basis for the frosting. And I use four and a half cups of powdered sugar, and I always sift my powdered sugar. David, why do I sift my powdered sugar? Um, because it's pretty to watch. <laughs> that, and we get rid of the lumps when we sift it. This is four and a half cups of sugar. And we're gonna sip that. It is pretty, you're right, David. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a little bit of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a lot of powdered sugar. Our sugar going into our standing mixer. Now my butter was freezing cold, so I just grated it. That's a tip, like a nice grate, and it's completely at my temperature now. Put that in with my powdered sugar. And then to that, David, I'm gonna add two sticks of softened butter. And we're just gonna cream that together. I'm gonna start my mixture. It's going low, so that powdered sugar doesn't go everywhere. That's happened many, 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 many times. Look, there's like a row of piece of butter. Okay. All right, and as that butter starts getting incorporated, now I'm going to add a little bit of a liquid so we can bring it all together. I use evaporated milk. Why evaporated milk over milk or heavy cream? Sure, you could use both, but I like the body that evaporated milk gives us. And not only does it give us body in the frosting at the time that you're making it. Like after you frost something, um, David just told me I had something all over my face. <laughs> after you frost something, it, it'll it set and get hard enough, especially the cookies that you can stack, but with the evaporated milk, when you bite into it, it's not like stiff. You know what I mean? I don't know, it's mad. The evaporated milk is mad. Science. So we needed two tablespoons in there. I'm gonna go slightly more. Nice. Coming together nice. Okay, the same if you're using regular milk, you're kind of gave it as it's going along. All right, to this, we're going to add, oh, I forgot my salt. Doesn't matter. We can add that now. I want a little half teaspoon of salt in there. Just give me a little bit of the salty flavor. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We have four and a half cups of powdered sugar, two sticks of butter, so a cup of softened butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla, vanilla extract, quarter teaspoon of salt, and I use four tablespoons of my evaporated milk in this one. Now we have the game changer. So this was the six ounces of the cinnamon candies that we crushed up. It smells It does, it smells. So this gives us not only our flavor, it's gonna give us some color too. So that, Going down in the frosting. Okay. Take a little bit straight down on that side. David, yeah, that's already pink. Look at that. I'm just gonna add a little red food coloring. I don't even need you. It kind of just depends on how that colors it up for you. Oh, 
All right, that's it for today. That's the game changer. You're thinking to yourself, Libby, why couldn't I just use a little cinnamon and extract and red food kind of little something? This has like a nostalgic part to it too. That you made this with a box of candy. I just got a little bit of still like a candy kind of crunch in it. Mm. But so good. Let's make this your Valentine's Day dessert now. I'm just gonna add food coloring in. I don't need to. It's so pretty already. All right, here's the magic of these. You can use this frosting on anything. David, I've frosted just some chocolate cookies. These are some German chocolate cupcakes that David actually made earlier today. Bravo, David. <laughs> You could buy them at the store. You don't have to make this. The frosting is the special part. So put them on anything. I love these, David, like just on a biscuit. Oh. Like serve a nice biscuit with a little bit of frosting on the side. Love that. All right. I'm gonna take it one step further because I can, and I have a sprinkle line, and these are my hot and heavy sprinkles, and I, I think it'd just be pretty to hit the top of these with just a little sprinkle too. I mean, look how pretty those are. So there you go. This is the game changing Valentine's Day. Any day I call it kiss me frosting because you're always gonna get some kisses. Um, get the recipe on LibbySummers.com. Oh my God, hey. <laughs> and it's also in my cookbook if you happen to have that. And I'd be honored if you did have it. Um, but anyway, get the recipe on LibbySummers.com and in the bio we'll link it all. Happy Valentine's Day.